last night I'm walking. Uh, I can send a picture for when this gets posted. I'm, I, I'm talking to my brother uh, in the house. Late, everybody else is asleep. It's like 11 o'clock and I was downstairs uh, to not be in the bedroom and I'm working. And, and, I, and, and I walk just from the dining room table and I get up and I start to walk toward the kitchen and something catches my eye at about eye level. And I turn around after a couple of seconds, I look back and there is a pretty sizable spider, like about the size of, you know, eyes to nose, like in here. And he looks like he's suspended in midair in the middle of the room. And I came within an inch of walking face first into this butt, which would have caused that the moment that I suspect everybody would have had, except for like the coolest people on it. Right. Um, and then, uh, you know, and, and then there, cause you can't see the web. It's amazing. I mean, he just, but you know, there's a web. So, Anyway, I killed the spider. I had to. I, but I, or I think I had to. But I thought about you, Mark, almost the entire time because I thought there's probably a way to save this spider. He's just being a spider, man. He doesn't know. He's probably not dangerous, right? right. Uh, but he was pretty big and he was in the middle of my damn house hanging. And I thought I could knock him into a cup and I could throw the cup outside. It wouldn't be hard. But I was, I was a little panicked. And I, so I just got a couple of paper towels and I crushed him and I killed him. And I want to know. How, to what extent you would work to save the spider? And and I, I'm just gonna. I want Alonzo to chime in here too. But I'm gonna guess Alonzo would have just killed the spider like me, and he wouldn't. He wouldn't even think to have the conversation the next day. It, there's a specific reason for that, but I'll let Mark go first. Okay, I um, uh, I would try to save the spider. You're right. However, I will tell you that my history is replete with examples of doing everything but almost setting the house on fire as I try to save an insect's life with, you know, because I don't want to just slam it with a magazine and just, you know, pick up the carcass with a paper towel. And I mean, you can begin to imagine I've knocked stuff over, which has knocked other stuff over. I mean, you can get into a pretty uh, bizarre set of circumstances all as a result of trying to avoid killing. Now, the other thing you could do is you could say, hey, well, you know, the spider lives in the house now with the rest of us, but I'm not really comfortable with that either. I want to scoop it up and get it out of the house. So I don't blame you for that. But yeah, I've tried to um, I've tried to save them, but it, it sometimes it can be pretty hard. So I'm do you do you do you ever just kill, 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 kill? I mean, is it ever like I mean, I can't I, I would I'd be I'd be lying. To, I'll tell you, I'll give you an, I, there. I have if I see an ant infestation or something, I just start killing them. Yeah, I, right. I can't. I'm not trying to like shoo them out or talk them out or redirect the, you know, no. Yeah. So and it, it might relate to size, but usually with spiders, I try to save them. Yeah. yeah I would have, I, I would have tried to, if he weren't hanging and it hadn't almost walked into with my face, I think I would have. Right. I you were just, yeah. In that moment you were like, you were, yeah. you were jolted by it. Right. I was, okay. I was a little jolted. I was jolted. All right. Alonzo. Well, I had a girlfriend who explained to me that spiders will eat your face off while you're sleeping and therefore must be killed instantly. And it is my job to kill all spiders. Just so you know, any man within, you're not a man if you don't kill spiders. So it was very well explained to me. And yeah, so if I see a spider, it just, it doesn't have a chance. I'm sorry. I, uh, <laughs> there, is a, there, there, there is something to, you know, uh, having a daughter and having a wife and having them summon you in to get rid of an insect, not the case last night since they were asleep. But I took a picture and I scared them today with it. Um, uh, but did you say did, daddy didn't kill it? He put it somewhere in your room, honey. No, no, I, I don't. Uh, I don't like to uh, lie to my daughter unless it really serves my purpose. Um, <laughs> okay. And uh, this didn't seem like one that I needed to. Uh, so no, to have them be like ah spider, and then and it's in an awkward spot, and you got to stand on something. <laughs> It's so pathetic. All right. Thanks for watching this free clip of Old School. Don't forget to become a TYT member today for the rest of the show and for more exclusive content throughout the network. Join now at tyt.com slash join. We found television.